hello welcome back to the board games 4k youtube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a quick run through what's not going to be quick is it because we've got billions of games in there but we're going to do try and do a quick run through of our entire board game collection starting with this shelf here and then working our way around all the way around this tiny little room with a shelf over there shelf down there loads of crap down there and then loads of crap on the floor down there so um yeah this might take a while we're going to just give it a go if it works out then whoopie de doo marvel at the breadth of diversity that we've got in this room with regards to board games so if you're new here then please consider subscribing to our channel leave a comment in the box down below about some of the games you see here tell us whether you like them or not tell us whether you think they're rubbish and we'll see you after this board games okay so here we go then we're going to turn this camera around we're going to start at the top of the shelf here and we're going to tell you a little bit about the game whether we've played it or not and if we haven't played it we're going to skip it and we'll come back to we're going to do a shelf of shame video so later on so we're going to we're going to come back to those games that we haven't played so um yeah we're going to turn the camera around now and then we're going to have a look at our first game on the top of the shelf so so up here you've got san juan this is a game it's sort of a card variant based on a game called puerto rico we have played it many many years ago it's been up there for quite a while it's pretty good but we prefer the original puerto rico so next up we got billionaire banshee we bought this on a whim because we saw one of them shut up and sit down videos but it really isn't as good as what they made out to be it's like one of them cards against humanity type things we choose you pick and whoever chooses the best one sort of thing so it's kind of funny to start with but then it loses its appeal real quick so yeah it's a bit bit crap really so down here we've got wits and wages and this is one of the best party games we've ever played so you don't need to have any knowledge of anything you don't need to know the right answers it's whoever gets closest to the right answer wins the points and blah 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 so yeah one of the greatest party games ever made right so we got munch kid up here this is one of the first games we bought her my um, niece recommended it from her boyfriend her boyfriend used to play it we thought it was interesting when we first played it but it got boring real quick and it's really frustrating because it just never seems to end so yeah munchkin i don't know why it's up there we might burn it at bonfire night so uh, yeah then we got telestrations one of the best party games that we could we could talk about this one is a uh, sort of like chinese whispers but um you're using sort of uh these sort of flip charts to to play this game it's, it's absolutely fantastic it's only one of the one of the few games i've actually seen my dad piss himself laughing at so um yeah telestration is fantastic next thing you got to say anything so this is another one of those sort of um oh, everyone writes down something and then somebody chooses the best answer yeah it's not it's not as good as wits and wages but it's still all right so yeah that's not too bad uh, wits and wages the uh family edition and uh this is a very simple version of this one and this is one that my eight year old boy keeps on asking to play but he doesn't know the answers so, so he just fills in any old stuff and tries to have as much fun as possible so yeah with some wages family edition pretty good so we go down here we got mexico we haven't played that one so we're not going to talk about that one we've got concordia here and we've got the concordia salsa so these two we've got all the maps in there apart from the venus maps and this is matt gert's masterpiece can't recommend this highly enough so if you haven't played concordia get out there and play it now you absolute donuts right so tragedy loop i've not played this one picked this up quite a while ago it's been sat there because it's meant to be quite complex to learn we've never been bothered because we're lazy we've got the uh, dice masters set we've never played it it's been stuck up there for ages couldn't be bothered because we got i don't know it just seemed complex and i think we were going through our anti eric lane period at the time so that's been stuck up there for a while through the ages we haven't played that one either we've never been able to get that to the table wow this is looking really really bad and i haven't played hardly any of these games but um yeah this one takes about five or six hours to play never really had the opportunity to get it to the table uh, but we might do we've kept it so there you go 1830 eight, this is one of the entry level 18xx games we only had it recently it's the italian version so we had to get the english rules so um yeah we haven't played it yet but i'm really happy to play this one because it's a ports up to six players could be a bit of a nightmare but um yeah so there you go uh stoplights i don't know where this came from i think this was like a freebie from board game guru but um we've played it once it's 
it's utter crap so we won't bother with that again i don't know why it's, why it's doing up there just filling taking up that little space i think thunder road a really really poor mb game is from the 80s but we picked this up because we saw it uh, reviewed on um rock paper shotgun i think it was and he said it was pretty good we picked it up turned out it was a load of crap but we like that sort of mad max feel so um we did keep it so um yeah we've got a load of poker chips here here we got hive never played it it's a tile lane game based on insects which is uh seeing as i've got a phobia of wasps and flies and things i'm a bit nervous to play that one happy salmon one of the best party games ever made absolutely fantastic we've got the blue version as well so yeah get in there that's worth playing love letter really simple card game yeah not too bad really good and cypher never played it don't know why it just looks like a, it's a soap on a rope done it so that's probably what i said yeah so under here we've got ms batori so 3d sort of uh, cluedo type thing pretty good looks pretty good pain in the ass to uh, set up and tear down so it's uh, probably going to get rid of it theory of dracula a great hidden movement game really really good uh fourth edition whiskers version really worth playing it's one of the best hidden movement games that we've played so uh, yeah we'll be keeping that one on the boss backstabbing evil 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 game yeah it's an absolute nightmare to play because if with the wrong people because if they if you stab people in the back too long they're very sensitive then they won't like that one but yeah this one this is a sid saxon masterpiece actually fantastic freedom the underground railway road we've never played it so we can't really talk about it but it's a game about the um slavery movement trying to free uh, slaves in the during the american civil war suro uh well a legendary tile land game magnificently produced wonderful theme fantastic game so if you haven't played this one it's very simple very cheap get hold of this copy of this game now so there we've got food chain magnet it's a splotter game it's long drawn out there's a few problems with it that we've we've dealt with in our review so go and have a check that check that out so um yeah it's a pretty good so but it's very expensive and it might be hard to come by so um yeah a food chain magnate so down here we got uh, loads of maps for memoir 44 some that we printed out ourselves these are the overall maps we've got maria we haven't played this it's a free player version of uh Friedrich, we haven't played it. We were going to play it the other day, but we didn't get around to it, so we played something else. We've got Zuloretto. This is a good sort of zoo creation game, so um, yeah, this is pretty good. Um, won the Spill de Jean 2007. Needs to have one of the uh, extra expansions to make this one better, but if you haven't played Zuloretto, you're sort of uh, keeping the same types of animals in cages, expanding your zoo, getting money, getting points, and that sort of thing. So it's a pretty good game. Panamax, we haven't played. This is to do with uh, shipping through the Panama Canal very very complex game haven't really got it to the table so uh, we won't talk about that one Wallenstein one of our favorite area control type euro type games so um absolutely fantastic We've done a play through this done a review of this one so go and check that out we'll leave this shelf till later because my legs were out in but um up here we've got a tabletop curling wonderful game if you haven't played it really good laugh for kids pick that one up if you can up here we've got Hanabi this is Antoine Bowser's uh, Spill de Jar winning tiny little card game. So um, it's to do with fireworks. It's got an unusual mechanism where the cards that you have in your hand face away from you. So that's quite interesting. Um, size matters. I don't know why that's in our collection. And this was a gift from somebody many, 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 many moons ago. And it's still in our collection because probably for sentimental reasons. But it's just one of them crappy card games you get from Hamleys, you know what I mean? so uh meeple circus wonderful dexterity game everyone showing this game get the expansion for it it's very small expansion it adds so much to the game it's uh yeah what you're doing in this one you're uh sort of practicing your circus act for a couple of rounds and then you're performing your full circus act in front of everybody and um, this this is uh, this one brings back brings back memories because mate of mine gary has signed there was shaking like a leaf when we played it first time so yeah fantastic game meeple circus so uh, asking for tribals bills don't know nothing about this one i oh, know it's a well i say it's a worker placement game but it's not based on the episode of star trek that is so famous so um yeah we're looking to play that one soon taylor pirates it's a 3d type dexterity game where with an app so um you've got this sort of 3d pirate ship um yeah i don't know we've played it it's a bit a bit awkward but it's just got a second edition so um maybe we'll dig it out again and do a review of it but um yeah uh Spartacus, a game of blood and treachery this is a fantastic game for two to now i think six or seven players so uh, based on a tv show and there's loads of different things you can get market cards to boost your slaves up and 
you know, uh, go into the arena and there's all this sort of backstabbing intrigue stuff and uh, it's a little bit uh, risque. Some of the cards are a little bit <laughs> made my mum's eyebrows, eyebrows race. So, uh, yes, yeah, Sparkers, again, blood treachery. So there's uh, Car Wars, Steve Jackson games. We've had this one since it was released in about 1985, I think it was. So this is the Deluxe Edition. And um, yeah, it's uh, more like a role-playing game, the Deluxe Edition, rather than the little pencil case game that you did get. But yeah, Car Wars still going strong today. So um, yeah, brilliant game. Uh, Crossmaster Arena, this is a sort of a Chibi's Miniatures game, sort of arena combat type thing. And um, yeah, you sort of uh, learn it as you play, so a, the rule book sort of staggered as a tutorial. So um, yeah, it's not too bad, not too great, but there you go. Pillars of the Earth, one of the best Euro games ever made, we love Pillars of the Earth. We, uh, we, had, we had it for ages, but we sort of didn't really play it for ages, and then we played it, we thought, bloody hell, well, we, why come we haven't played this for so long? Why has this been stuck on the shelf for so long? So um, yeah, we really love that game. It's uh, our best board game designer of all time. It's uh, Bruno Cafala's Shadows Over Camelot. And uh, yeah, this is a hidden traitor game. And it's one of our favorite hidden traitor games. We got rid of Battlestar Galactica because we love this one so much. And uh, yeah, it's one of uh, Bruno Cafala's best games, this one. Vladish Vital's Dungeon Pets, I like it. Nobody else that we in our gaming group likes it because it's just a bit too complex and a bit too bitty in your brain. But I like it. And I doubt we're ever, ever going to play it again because it went down like a lead balloon when we played it last. So I think we're going to wrap this one up. 10 minutes is enough for you lot. We'll come back another day in a few days time, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. And we'll continue going round our little board game dungeon telling you what games are in our collection. So yeah, we're going to wrap this up now. So um, we'll come back maybe in a couple of days time and we'll continue to traverse the board game dungeon here. We'll uh, tell you what, we, what games we have played, what games we haven't played, and we'll see you next time.